Before we start, please hear a message from International News Today Network. Starting today, for every subscriber, International News Today Network will plant one tree to save our planet. Please help contribute in saving our planet by subscribing to our channel. One subscriber equals one tree. Thanks. As the West continues to send arms and pledges to donate billions of dollars as war aid to Ukraine, Russia has claimed that it has deployed its two state-of-the-art laser weapon systems Perisic and Satara to burn drones. The announcement was made by the Deputy Prime Minister and in charge of military development, Yuri Borisov, on Thursday who said that even more powerful laser-based weapons capable of destroying their targets are being tested and deployed in the war, according to Reuters. Detailing the prowess of the lasers, the deputy PM cited a recent test where the Tsadara burned a drone more than 5 kilometers, 3 miles, away in seconds. If Perisvit blinds, then the new generation of laser weapons lead to the physical destruction of the target thermal destruction, they burn up, Reuters quoted him as saying on Russian state television. He called Tsadara the most powerful laser system than Perisvit. However, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky trashed the claims by drawing parallels to Nazi Germany's so-called wonder weapons that were unveiled in a bid to prevent defeat in World War II. The clearer it became that they had no chance in the war, the more propaganda there was about an amazing weapon that would be so powerful as to ensure a turning point, Reuters quoted him as saying in a late-night video address. What do we know about the two laser weapons? One. Russian leader Vladimir Putin had unveiled an array of new and deadly weapons in 2018, including an intercontinental ballistic missile, underwater nuclear drones, a supersonic weapon and a laser system. 2. Little is known about the specifics of the new laser. Putin back then mentioned Perisvit, named after a medieval Orthodox warrior monk Alexander Perisvit who perished in mortal combat. Three. Barisov said that Perisvit was already being widely deployed and it could blind satellites up to 1,500 km above Earth. 4. Asked if such weapons were being used in Ukraine, Barisov said, yes. The first prototypes are already being used there. He said the weapon was called Tsadara. 5. Though there is no public information available about Tsadara, the Russian media in 2017 said that state nuclear corporation Rosatom helped develop it as part of a program to create weapons-based new physical principles.